Best management practices and plant protection systems are really important for production nurseries. Not only do we believe that it is actually going to save them money, but high health uh, plant production also ensures that you produce a quality product. It also helps with record keeping and also environmental sustainability. NY17009 um, is a project about improving pest management for the nursery industry. We have anecdotal evidence that IPM saves production nurseries between 3 and 5 per cent with their throwout rates. When the project commenced in 2019, we got nurseries from around Australia to volunteer to be involved. Those nurseries involved um, captured data on their pest management costs um, and labour inputs over the first year. In the second year, they had biological services come in and provide COP monitoring for them free of charge as part of the program. The biosecure HACCP procedures that they also had to implement were import inspections, site surveillance inspections and dispatch inspections. Although we had started with best management practices with NIASA in 2011, we only took on the IPM part of it at the start of this project. Biological Services has been uh, coming out and visiting us on a fortnightly basis during the second year of the program and it's been an absolute boon to us. It's, it's the main reason we signed up for the project and that is Biological Services showing us how they do their crop monitoring and we've been able to improve our previous procedures that we were using for crop monitoring. They've also been able to assist with training staff in monitoring techniques. Biological Services also has um, the capacity to supply predators and uh, they've shown us how to release them effectively. So we've always monitored and recorded the observations. So we were a little bit ahead of the curve as far as that's concerned with our peers when we started this program. Uh, and the addition of biological services to help with the crop monitoring has probably improved our effectiveness and certainly improved our sampling. The first year of the IPM project saw nurseries following their existing practices without any changes um, to what they were doing. They were recording the costs of um, managing pests and disease such as labour costs and chemical application. We've examined the first year of data and what we've found so far, um, which is across the different nursery types, is that um, throwouts, average throwouts I should say, due to pest and disease, is about $18,000 per hectare. So compared to the broad averages across the nurseries that are participating, I'm quite happy with where we're positioned as far as the data is concerned, both on our uh, shrinkage, you know, revenue lost through throwouts, and that's one of the big issues that I want to concentrate on to see what, how we can measure the actual improvement. It's all very well and good thinking that you're ahead of the curve, but when you can actually see the data in numbers and you see what the dollar sign is, it's all about incremental gain. The benefits of being in this program will be long lasting. I anticipate that we'll have long term savings in better educated staff, better monitoring, less shrinkage of products. My expectations of the productivity gains are that we'll be able to document a savings compared to using chemical control methods and uh, now seeing what the total cost burden of the IPM program would be. One thing that's come out of the data so far has uh, sharpened my focus on the labour component of pesticide application. At the end of the project, uh, we're looking to put out uh, a report uh, which will be available on the Horde Innovation website. That report will have the analysis on the financial benefits. To access any resources, um, GIA have all of their plant protection, IPM, um, best management practices resources on nurseryproductionfms.com.au. There's also the Your Levy at Work website. Mm -hmm.